Hi guys, me again. I thought I'd make a quick video on twin blocks because we get a lot of patients asking what they're like, what they do. So a twin block is a removable appliance uh, that we tend to use for the most part before going into a course of fixed appliances. Twin block appliances are mainly used to get rid of the sticky outness of top teeth relative to bottom teeth. It generally brings a what we call a retrusive, which is a kind of a setback and small lower jaw forward into position to align with the top teeth. Now, a lot of patients think when they look at sticky, if, if you have sticky out teeth, people will often think that it's their top teeth that stick out. But in the UK and most of Europe, the general cause for sticky out top teeth is actually sticky in bottom teeth, if that makes sense. A, a very easy way for you to see it yourself is to Take a photo, take a selfie, take a selfie of yourself. Take a selfie from the side, one with you in your relaxed position, biting on your back teeth, and one pushing your jaw forwards, your lower jaw forwards, until your top and bottom teeth meet. And if you're a candidate for twin blocks, you'll notice that facially, you look a lot better in your pushing forwards, your postured position, than you do in your relaxed, or what we call retrusive position. That's generally a good indication for twin blocks. So twin blocks are a removable top and bottom brace that you need to wear essentially full time for it to work. The reason it's removable is it's quite a lot of stuff to be gluing in. Uh, um, it, you know, it seems a little bit cruel, but they do need to be worn full time. And what they do is they hold your lower jaw in that forwards position. Now, I don't know if you've ever heard mum or dad tell you if you pull a face for long enough, it'll stick like that. There's some truth to that wives tale. Um, it's thought to work in a combination of ways. One way we definitely know that it works is it tips the top teeth back and the bottom teeth forwards. So we know that that really happens. It's a bit more contentious, it's a bit more unclear whether we actually get growth of the jaw or not. Regardless of the genesis of the correction, what we agree on as orthodontists is that they are extremely effective when worn. They're probably the most effective thing that we have. They just get amazing changes. So, And you can only really get these results in growing children. So anywhere from the age of about 12 to 14, when children are hitting what we call peak height velocity, so they're increasing their heights at a faster velocity than at other ages, we get a lot of results that look surgical. They actually look like a patient has had jaw surgery. And once you're over 16, 17, and if you want that correction done at that stage, then surgery is probably your best option for. It's to be worn 99% of the time. You take it out to brush your teeth and you put it back in. You wear it to eat if you can. It works really well if you can manage to wear it to eat. You can take it out for contact sports if you need to. I'd say you can take it out for swimming as well because they do tend to, once you lose them in a swimming pool, they really are gone. They're uncomfortable to start with because it, and it's sort of a muscular pain because they're pushing your lower jaw forwards. You do feel it. But the main thing that gets rid of the pain is to wear it full time. If you start cutting down on the wear, that's when, that's when you notice it hurts a bit more. Um, and they're brilliant. I think they're absolutely fantastic. So that's twin blocks.